Now, what about the idea that things expand and contract and that it ultimately will all come back it together? It was never. That's, that's not? It's, a, it's allowed uh, in the equations, but the data do, has never supported that. And all data support a one-way expansion. Not only that, the discovery of dark energy is accelerating the expansion. There's a whole section of the book on how it'll all end. And you get really speculative. It's like, okay, given what's happening now and given what we know, here's what we think. If the accelerated expansion goes unchecked, it will overcome all the forces that are currently binding everything you know and love. A gravity? The, yes, everything. it'll overcome gravity. So the galaxies will no longer be able to hold together because the expansion of the universe is now manifesting at a local level rather than on a, ma on a much larger level. So galaxies start getting stretched apart. And then oh. the planets orbiting stars start getting stretched apart. And then the, the molecules start getting broken apart. And then the atoms themselves. And then in the limit, this stretching reaches the very pixels that comprise the fabric of space and time. It's called the Planck length. That, 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 is, that is the very structure of what comprises everything we know in the universe. And so the expansion will ultimately hit that. And we do not know. We don't know what the consequence of that. You know what we call it? We came up, it's called the big rip. What happens when you stretch fabric? There's a point where it doesn't stretch anymore and it rips. That's in between 20 and 22 billion years from now. If the cosmic acceleration goes unchecked, the world will end in a big rip. Wow. What could possibly check not, it? Not with a bang, but, but with, with a, a rip. Whimper.